That was an ugly ass game. On the second night of a back to back, both Charlotte and Golden State could not find the net much, but it was the return of Gary Payton II that I wanted to focus on today. GP2 was able to finish tic tac toe plays and make defensive adjustments that sparked Warriors' buckets, so let's break down his return. We know Payton's about 6'2 tops, but plays like a center. Off the turnover, Kaminga's leading the break in defenses these days has begun to respect his threat. Charlotte miscommunicates here a bit as Trey Mann first points to JK for someone else to pick up, then realizes no one does. Then you got Martin pointing at Bridges to pick that matchup, even though Bridges is currently on the low man in GP2. Now Martin himself has got to rotate, but credit JK for increasing the pressure and drawing the full attention of the defense. Payton has mastered cutting to the rim during his teammates' struggle and here Kaminga makes a smooth bounce pass that leads to a layup. Another example of GP2 finishing plays. We have an interesting pistol action but higher on the arc as Kaminga sets the first screen for Steph while Looney is waiting for the dribble handoff. The Hornets obviously see Curry's shooting threat, so Grant Williams comes up super high to trap on that pick. Now we have a 3 on 2 advantage on the weak side, but Charlotte does not do a good job of communicating the X out. Seth Curry is actually supposed to take Looney here as the weak side low man and Bridges the two weak side warriors, but I'm assuming Bridges chose to stick with Looney due to his size. When Steph makes a swing pass to JK, since the Hornets made the wrong rotations, you got two people down low on Looney and look how much further Seth Curry has to close out to the perimeter. Another great decision by Kaminga to dribble in to draw more attention and opponents are going to treat GP2 as a non-shooter. It is up to him to make defenses respect his shot, but here that wide open kick out leads to a corner swish. The first half was a snooze fest with turnovers left and right. First Dre throws a classic one to the opponent, then on the fast break, look at GP2's position here behind Trey Mann. The hustle and energy of the small things that he has mastered, where he sprints back and predicts Miles Bridges' lazy forward bounce pass and ends up getting that steal. This immediately turns into a fast break advantage back for the Warriors as he quickly tosses the ball forward. Kaminga bounces the ball behind him where he knows only Steph is trailing, and Curry does the rest by getting run off the three-point line into a wide open bank Midi. We know Gary Payton II is superb for his on-ball defense. On the right wing here, Richards comes for the pick and roll, but GP2 immediately sees this and ices him towards the sideline, preventing Mitchish from using the pick in an attempt to attack the middle of the court. With Draymond playing a drop, Mitchish thinks he has an open pull-up, but Payton comes out of nowhere in his 6-2 frame to contest, forcing the Hornet player to think twice and pass the ball at the last second, leading to a turnover. Once again, small plays that don't show up on the stat sheet leads to Steph doing the rest for a semi-fast break pull up three that forces Charlotte to call timeout. Payton has also mastered the art of capitalizing on Steph's off-ball movement. Curry is known for relocating constantly, and once this ball is passed up top, the randomness often leads to opponents prioritizing wherever he is going. It is up to the Warriors teammates to exploit these coverages, and GP2 immediately knows to set a pin down for Steph to curl on the left wing. However, predicting the Hornets' coverage that both players will jump out on Steph, Payne slips his one to get a wide open cut to the rim. Great pass by Dre as Martin has to rotate over as the weak side low man and fouls him for two free throws. Once again, it's the little things. I swear GP2 never misses around the rim, he's got such a high field goal percentage there. On the weak side, Draymond immediately recognizes a mismatch with Sharge and Seth Curry. Smart decision by Sharge to drop down low to the post, and this law pass penetrates the defense down low, forcing Charlotte rotations. Michich has to come help as the weak side low man and bridges the two weak side warriors, but you're rarely ever going to catch Payne just chilling the corner for a three-pointer. He understands his strengths and immediately cuts to the rim, trusting his teammates to make the right tic-tac-toe pass for another uncontested layup. Timeout Hornets. The dubs do a great job trapping and getting the steal here, but look initially at both Payne and Bridges' positions. Despite being half a foot shorter and not having the greatest guard skills, Payne's able to not only leak out on the break faster, but use a strong lower body to shield from the bigger defender before going to his weak right hand and finishing the reverse layup. I can always trust on him to punish the rim. Love seeing the small guy playing like a 7 foot center. On a baseline out of bounds play, we got Bridges picking up Payton, and with Clay saying that first pick, the Hornets are not switching, and Steph throws a ballsy pass under the rim. I got nothing here to really tell you, but GP2 absolutely takes the bigger defender to school, with one bump to create some space, then using his strength and explosiveness to rise up with a strong left hand for the hook shot over two guys half a foot taller. That is simply all will. 
There you guys have it. This was probably my first major GP2 video, but on a night where both teams shot like guys at LA Fitness, I want to focus on the few but major impacts of Gary Payne II, as he was able to make correct reads off of dub scoring options, shut down opposing players like always, and finish at the rim efficiently. Despite only playing limited minutes, GP2 always makes those minutes impactful as that energy bunny off the bench. Opponent ball handlers fear him and will continuously leave him open as well, so it's up to him to make them pay. If you guys like this breakdown, like and subscribe to see more.